So the simplest way to use auto scaling groups is just to work with the capacity settings with nothing else set. And so we have desired capacity, min and max. Okay, so let's talk through these three settings. So for min is how many EC2 instances should at least be running, okay? Max is the number of EC2 instances allowed to be running and desired capacity is how many EC2 instances you ideally want to run. So when min is set to one, um, and let's say you had a new auto scaling group and you launched it and there was nothing running, it would always, it would spin up one. And if that server died for whatever reason, because when it was unhealthy or it just crashed for whatever reason, it's always going to spin up at least one. Um, and then you have that upper cap where it can never go beyond two because auto scaling groups could trigger more instances. Uh, and this uh, is like a safety net to make sure that, you know, you just don't have lots and lots of servers running. And desired capacity is what you ideally want to run. So um, ASG will try to get it to be that value. Um, but there's no guarantee that it will always be that value. So that's capacity settings.